touched his lips. And it says, your guilt is taken away and your sin is atoned for. There's something really beautiful and at least at that time would have been very mysterious to the Jews who would have heard this story. The coal was taken from the altar of sacrifice in the temple. And so atonement is foreshadowed in the Old Testament. And the author of sacrifice, an animal would be slaughtered. But now, and this is the only time we have this in the Old Testament, now there is fire. But instead of it coming in judgment to destroy, it comes in mercy to cleanse. So perhaps fire, God is using it to cleanse us even in the pain. And oftentimes there is a, there is a pain in repentance. Repentance is, uh, I, I love this because I'm from a military family. Repentance is a military term, a Greek term. There's a bunch of guys marching, a bunch of soldiers, and the captain says metanoia, which is where we get our term repentance, which means about face. You're walking that way, you go this way. And so the Bible, you know, oftentimes repentance is seen as this sort of religious word, but it's essentially change. Change your mind, change your heart, change your direction. Go a different way. It's not just feeling bad, but it's living differently. How do I know that I've genuinely repented? Well, there's certainly that cleansing pain of being honest about where you've fallen short, but you're actually changing. You're actually moving a different direction so that you can't just fall into that same sin again. So Jesus, ultimately this, this coal foreshadows Jesus. And the beautiful truth that we know and love and cherish and we need to hear over and over and over and again in our life is that he's the coal. When our life touches his by faith, when we reach out, his death on the cross becomes our death to sin. And all of the punishment, our sin has been atoned for. And the lips of the things that we've spoken in private or with buddies or with girlfriends, the things that we're ashamed of, the gossip, the slander, the cursing, the blasphemy, our mouth, our hearts, our record of sin is expunged because of Jesus' death. And because that's so powerful, we do, even in the pain, want to live differently. And how do we know that you've encountered Jesus the same way you know that you've walked out and there was a Mack truck that comes and hits you? You're different. When you meet the living God, it changes you. And one of the things that I constantly see is people who meet Jesus want to tell other people about Jesus. He's not just an idea. He's not just a concept. 